Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. I just finished watching Canadian Prepper's video a review of the Soul Source Parabolic Solar Cooker. Uh, and I think pretty much everything in that video that he was uh, saying I think was spot on and even his intuition about how it would age and everything, you know, I, I think uh, he was doing pretty good with that stuff. So if you're interested in, the, in maybe getting this product, I, de I definitely recommend watching his video and I'll put a link to it in the description below. What I wanted to talk about was the perspective of uh, what this product looks like to someone that's been using it for a while. Because Canadian Pepper just received it, you can even see in the video all the these mirror dishes are super sh shiny, they just came out of the box, pretty much. Um, and like I said, his intuition about it uh, was, was pretty spot on, but there were, there's uh, some tiny little subtleties and things that I wanted to mention um, uh, from my perspective, because I've had this for, I don't know, three, four, or five years, and I use it all the time, almost every day that it's sunny, I've got uh, water out on this thing. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention was that uh, Canadian Pepper said that he had some concern over the durability of these mirrored dishes in terms of uh, hot grease spattering off when you're cooking uh, and whatnot or you know burning embers or, or whatever might fall on it. Uh, now I can say that I do have a little mark on mine from I practiced by throwing some leaves on just to see how fast they burn. I didn't realize there was a little stick in there or maybe it had been a pedal, a pebble or something, but something hot fell down and it melted the dish a little bit. Now, Canadian Pepper's intuition was correct. It doesn't really have a huge impact on, on the dishes. They still work completely fine. Um, but what I have noticed is that as they've aged, and just when I say age, I mean just the, 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 uh, the winds blowing sand around, the dirt, or they get pollen on them, and they, they're just not quite as crystal clean now for me as they were when they first came out of the box, and as you saw in the Canadian Prepper video if you watched it. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it, how, how can that be true? <laughs> well, uh, Canadian Prepper mentioned that uh, one of the issues that he had with this is that the focal point is so tiny. It's a lot of heat in one spot and then not very much else. You really have to be uh, moving things around. It's very manual intensive uh, to keep things from overheating. And that is really true. Uh, he mentioned the idea that you could probably use like a thick cast iron pot to try to cook things to spread it out. Um, from experience, I would say that at least under certain circumstances, that is not even going to be good enough. I was cooking chili on this when I first got it in a big, thick cast iron pot, and this cracked a hole in the cast iron pot. It wasn't like an old pot or anything like that. It just it got so hot in such a tiny area, that area wanted to expand. The rest of the pot was still pretty cool, and it just it cracked the pot as it was going. And there was, there was liquid in there. What it did is that it burned the chili to the bottom, to the point where it could get, uh, you know, above 212, and then, you know, the pot just, you know, cracked from there. So, it is really intense, and uh, that is kind of a problem for when you're cooking things. But, as the, um, as the mirror dishes age, it actually kind of softens that, uh, that focal point a little bit. Now, does it reduce your heat? Yeah, I'm sure it does, but it makes it a lot more functional uh, in terms of, uh, you know, actually being able to use it because you do get a little bit of softening. Now, that said, I never use this for cooking food. I only use this for cooking water, and man, is it good at it. Canadian Prepper talks about that. It's really efficient. It really works quickly. Right now, I've got some water on uh, that I, uh, you know, just use in the house for the day. An important thing, I think, to pair with this, uh, this unit is a really good thermos. What I do every morning when the sun rises is that I put a big pot of water on here and get it boiling, and then I put it into thermoses. I've got two really big thermoses that I have in the house, and that saves the hot water for the rest of the day. Uh, Canadian Prepper said, you know, this is great, but it only works during the daytime. So anything you can do to save that water for later use, you know, in the evening, if you want to cook dinner or something and you want to boil something, you already have water that's almost all the way hot, uh, and it's ready to, ready to be used for you. So having this with some thermoses uh, has really worked well for me. Uh, the other thing that I use this for is heating bath water for my boy. Uh, I have a really big pot that's bigger than this that after this finishes boiling, I'll be throwing on here. And uh, I put that in a big bundle, I think it's called the Wonder Bag, uh, and that keeps it warm for the day. So then at the end of the day, I've got, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe six, uh, six gallons of water ready for his bath. It's, you know, really hot it's still at that point, and, you know, I, I, I cool down with some extra water. So pairing this with a way of storing that heat energy in a thermos or like these fluffy kind of bag uh, contraptions that you can use to put a whole pot into, that works really well. 
Uh, the other thing the Canadian Prepper mentioned was the, the sturdiness of the frame. And it is, a, it is a pretty sturdy frame. It's held up. It's got a little bit of rust on it at this point, uh, you know, in a couple places, uh, even though I sort of set it out from the, I keep it out of the weather during the winter, but still, you know, just with exposure and everything, it's got a little rust. But it seems like it still has a pretty decent uh, degree of strength integrity, integrity left to it. Uh, that part uh, works pretty well. One part m mechanically of this that does not work very well is this little uh, uh, sliding lock down here. This is always a problem for me, even like just a little bit after I bought it. It just, it, it's locked right now, but it's not holding it anywhere. What I've done is I've just made a little stick for it. And the back surface of this is all covered up with all this kind of geometry for, for structure, which gives you a lot of places to throw that in, and this uh, gives you a convenient little place to hold little pot, uh, you know, pot holders and, and and racks and things like that for actually using it. So it, it's a problem, but it's not that big a deal if you have the technology to cut a stick. So <laughs> it's not that big a thing. I'm just going to get this re-aimed right here for for cooking right there, and you can I don't know if you can hear that, you can you can hear the sound of it. Uh, it's starting to warm up. This is just a little. Uh, what do you call these things? A little metal grid or whatever. And I would recommend pairing this with this guy because, I don't know if you saw in the Canadian Prepper video, but this area right here, it's a pretty big hole. It's hot right now because the focal point's right there. But it's a pretty big hole, and if you have a smaller pot, if you put one of these in the middle, it can help to hold something because it is pretty darn dangerous when you have a a pot that barely fits into here. And I actually bought a pot from the website that he mentioned that seemed like it was supposed to go with this. It was called like the bean pot. And it it like barely fits into the little uh, you know metal holder there. And it, it was always kind of flipping and spilling. It was a disaster. <laughs> I had no idea. I, I, I eventually got the, the, the rack in there and, and, and had it working. But you have to be really careful with this because it does... Um, if you don't have a big pot or a big pan or something like that, it's easy for things to kind of fall out of that, and it's boil, hot boiling stuff uh, coming out of there. Uh, Canadian Pepper mentioned that uh, there is an option of getting a uh, cover for it to go on it really easily. I bought that, and I would highly recommend that if you're going to get one of these that you would do that too. Uh, it is it, it can be pretty dangerous. You know, if you leave this thing out and there's not a pot there, and you know you you go away leaves could fall from a tree and fall here and they're going to burst into flames right away and then you've got a fire on your hands that could fall to the ground and get into the understory and you could very easily start a fire with this so i th i think it's really important to leave these things covered whenever you're not uh you know actually using them especially if you're going to leave your your house and you know be off somewhere uh so that's my feeling on this unit i use it constantly almost every day that there's sun I'm out here I'm heating up water I'm getting things ready I've got, I've definitely gotten my money out of it it was expensive it was an investment uh, you know right off the bat but uh, it works really well it's aging very well and I've been very pleased with it so I hope you find that that helpful the, the perspective of, the perspective of, of someone that's had it for a while and uh, if you've had it for a while, let me know what you think. Have you had similar issues to this? Uh, what are things that you're concerned about? If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.